フルカウンター Hi boys, welcome back to the Grand Cross video. So Scone Hearty has just got a little bit nerfed, which is quite funny because I just received a comment asking why does it feel harder? Well, in fact, it should now feel easier. However, only for floor one. So basically what they've changed, you want to know, is on a phase three now, there's no longer a damage cap. Throughout the whole boss fight, basically you can't exceed more like 30% of the max HP. Where now on the final phase, you can. But like I said, only for floor one. And obviously this is a big thing because that's when both of them are now active and it's a bit tedious to try and kill both at the same time. And I've had many, many runs where I just mistime it and then boom, I have to restart again because I accidentally killed one, but not the other. Especially when considering the light character, or at least the light wolf is actually more harder to kill. Now I understand defeating floor one is still a bit of challenging for some people and people are starting to move on to floor three and floor two now i myself i still can't even do floor three or floor two i've not even attempted it even because um unless i can clear it with Eren, then i'm not even gonna bother right it's too hard for me but now we have gotten a free relic just by logging in so i'm probably gonna make a fauna's relic i've got one extra deep now for freya so, so maybe now i can actually try and start doing it because now it's been nerfed we've now got some more relics and it's just probably a lot more easier to clear it now which makes which makes sense because we now got a new demand of battle to worry about i should probably start attempting floor to you now but regards we're going to go into a quick showcase the nerf and showcase what you can do basically all right so i can actually make fauna's relic obviously this is what i've been farming for the last few weeks now uh just by beating floor one basically but thankfully we got eight actual of the currency today so i was able to buy it uh but both increases allies hp rate stats by 10 minutes up to four times so you can get 40% of life is probably the biggest one there. And also fill ultimate gauge by orb whenever a character, whenever the hero uses skill. Is it every single time you use skill, you fill up a gauge? That's insane if that's the case. I'll right, we'll make that then. Hopefully the grind can start now. I can probably start defeating scoring hearty because I'm probably the late, like the last person to do it, but better late than never. I've just realized what it is. It, <laughs> these are things they're slick. It's a thunderbolt. Because she's obviously four. That's sick. I like that. All right, so this is a team you'll probably normally bring. I actually even got the actual artifact card set for the Skull and Hearty, so we're going to use this one. Uh, but let's see how easy it is now with the relic and now with the little nerf. Also, I do need to make actual Elizabeth relic, which I think gives you 15% more hit rate stats. So you're actually like really tanky and if you have this like full relic setup here. Um, my Freya is, I think she's 3-6 now. I, I pulled him luckily, actually luckily. I pulled him once on the banner. Should have been more times, but it, it's what it is. Uh, okay, so what do I do then? How do I get the passive to work? Is every single time she uses skill? Or is it when the ally uses skill? I'm not too sure. So we'll do the setup might as well uh, and then do this. So how do we, how's the orb work? That's what I'm curious about. So we got one up, obviously, just by using that skill. Did we get extra one? Or was it when she uses the skill? I think it's her. I can't tell. Okay. I think we all just got one orb there. Was that because of the third skill? Or was it because she used the skill? I'm not too sure. If that's the case, that's insane, though. It generally is. It generally is. Because the amount of times I've been, like, one off an ultimate, it's been uh, quite frustrating. Okay, so we'll, uh, so we'll heal up. Use the fauna second. I want to see if it procs either the third time or the or whatever she uses skill. And we'll use the card, and then we'll use another medic card because we know we're going to get one extra orb here, so we can get his ultimate. Might as well do that, I think. Plus, we'll get uh, the damage reduction too. So is it when she uses skill? I, I can't tell. Maybe after it uses it. And yeah, it is. Okay, that's insane. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm so late to this, but boys, I, you know, I'm not a whale. I can't, I can't make all these relics. All right, this should kill. We should, uh, yeah. Oh, lag. Okay, there we go. It killed. Plus, we heal up again. All right, this ain't too bad, you know. I'm actually, it's feeling quite easy now. I mean, this is only floor one, right? I'm getting crazy over that. But uh, what we can do now, though, is basically, okay, I do need to kill. Okay, so when we use the ultimate, we're going to get another orb, right? So we'll do this. That'll give us one orb. Is it, is it once per turn? I need to check. Because then we can do this again. That will give me two orbs. And if I use a melee AoE card... Actually, let me, let me use her first because I think Freya might kill. I'll right, we'll do this. Let me see if this works then. Do we get one orb every single time she uses skill or is it only once? Okay. Uh, did it work there? I think we got one. Or is it always the third skill? I, I'm still confused how it works. Okay. But we got one there. Okay, so I think it is every single time we use a three skills, I think. Yeah, it is. Actually, it only happens once per turn. I mean, it's still good though. Alright, so like I mentioned, the biggest change by far is the fact that you can now one-shot this phase. If I really wanted to, I can probably merge you with tier 3. I mean, I can't because I've been disabled here. And then probably one-shot the right guy. But obviously, we don't want to do that because we want to kill both together. So you still have to get used to it because most of us by now are probably used to hitting damage caps. So you know how many skills and like what you need to do. But uh, right now, if I just use this, uh, use this onto her. 
We'll heal up. Actually, do we heal up? I cannot get ultimate. Thankfully, if we use three skills, we get one. So we'll do that. So Fauna's right at Covenant Clutch here. Look at that. We literally almost one shot with a tier one. So you see the difference now. It's going to feel a lot harder in some ways, but it's going to feel a lot easier as well. Because now you only probably have to literally get melee ultimate and one shot the whole team. Alright, so a max HP, super easy. We've only attacked the boss once and the this low already. So now, this should kill. I'm, I'm pretty sure. And if not, we would do a single target AOE. Because now there's no damage cap, so you can easily kill all the bosses pretty easy now, I think. Super, super quick. So that is by far one of the best things they could have done. I feel like, oh, look, see a HP recovery because all the HP related stats. That has like 2 million. Oh, and um, you got one of these two. We love to see those. Those are like by far the hardest things to get. But yeah, by far a lot more easy now. Just defeat floor one. I know floor one's not the craziest, but for a few people, they can only do floor one like myself personally. So now that I've got the red, I can now that it's a bit easier. It should make him go into floor two a lot more easier to do with a lot more HP and you don't have to worry too much. I hope all they do now is change the actual on phase two. They do disable your recovery, which is a bit annoying. So hopefully they remove that. And then I think the final boss or this actual demonic will be a lot easier. All right, so this is the combo I've been using for the last few months just to beat floor one because it's quite fun to see the damage numbers. But now, what I would normally do is actually get my actual go for ultimate and then literally Echidna and then boom with Romaru. And then Romaru will be able to one-shot the next phase because he did so much damage in this phase. However, I want to change that now. So what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, use these two because then all these buffs will carry over to next turn and then hope we can just one-shot Romaru's ultimate. We'll see if that works or not. But normally I'll use in this phase because then I can probably one-shot next turn. But it might not be necessary if I can just one shot on this turn. Yeah, 1.5 million. We should kill. Yeah, 100% yeah, we'll kill it now. Remu always hitting damage cap right now. It's That was damage cap. So imagine if they don't have damage cap, how much damage that would have done. Probably around 700k, I think. Okay, we have it, so we could test if we want to. But yeah, normally, the reason why the Abyss works is because on the last phase, the actual White Wolf doesn't have damage caps. So you're basically doing like 1 million damage towards him, but then 200k towards him. But overall, the Abyss damage stacks up and it, it deals like 600k, 900k afterwards. When now, since they both don't have damage cap, it might be kind of cracked. Let me just check my stats right now. We are 70k attack. It's going to be insane. Uh, we're going to crit. It's, gonna be, it's basically going to be easy. So let's see. Do I... Do I do one single target skill? See how much damage it does do? I think we do actually. Yeah, might as well. And then um, there's there's no way to survive this. I'll just do this. Let's just see. Should probably target the white one, but let's see if it's one shots. There you go. <laughs> okay. Normally that would have one shot. Yeah. All right, boys. There we go. It's probably going to wrap up the video once again. Floor one is now a lot easier. And if you haven't been paying attention, that's what's been changed. So if you go into it. Oh, we got another one. Beautiful. Honestly, I know it's not the most optimal thing to do, but if you're like me for the past few months, I've just been farming floor one. I've not even beaten floor two yet. Where now, it's probably way more because it's then something that you could actually do if you really wanted to. But now with all the buffs and nerfs happen now, you can probably go into floor two a lot more easier with a lot more HP and uh, start worrying about that. Floor one should now be a joke. I feel like it is kind of a joke now, depending on what team you're using. But uh, these two are still quite hard. So maybe when I can defeat it, I'll probably do a guy defeating it. But we'll see. So boys, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah.